This is the fifth dirty data we are going to clean and this one has invoices with merged categories and merged amounts. So this is basically a data set that has been inefficiently entered by a clerk. So what is happening here is you have a customer coming in to buy something and the person is buying different products and all of the products that the customer is buying is being recorded inside the same cell separated by these pipes and then the amounts are also entered inside the same cell separated by pipes so essentially this customer 199 is buying binders for 609.98 and then is also buying art for 5.48 and is buying phones for 391.98 and so on and so forth and we would like to keep these records in a proper structure, in a proper shape that is going to look like the clean version that we have here. So the other IDs is going to be repeated for as many products as the customer is buying. And also we will also have the different amounts that ties to each of those products. So I have this data in my Power Query already. Let's see how to deal with it. So the first thing I'm going to do for this data set is to use my first row as header. So I'm going to go to my transform tab and use first row as headers. Now, my goal is going to be to split each of these columns into different rows. If I go to right click on category, for example, and I go to split column and I go to split by delimiter because obviously there's a delimiter there which is a pipe which you probably will be looking for on your computer for the first time but here is the trick anytime you need to copy a value from inside power query either because you cannot locate it on your keyboard what you can do is click inside the cell or click inside one of the cells that contains such value then at the bottom here this has the content and you can actually highlight any part of this content and you can copy that part with Control C. So I can come to this category, for example, do a right click there. I'm going to split column by delimiter and my delimiter is going to be a custom. It has to be that pipe. In case it wasn't there before, I can easily come here to paste it with Control V. And then there is an advanced option here that you can select to split into different rows. However, I need to split the categories into different rows and I also need to split the amount into different rows separately. So what I'm going to do is first cancel this and the first thing I'm going to do is to duplicate or to replicate this query. So I'm going to right click on 35. I'm going to select duplicate so that I have a second version of it. Now, from the first version, I will keep just the order ID and the category and I'm going to remove the amount. So I can right click on the amount and remove. Now, for the second version, I'm going to go to the second version and I will remove the category and I will leave amounts there. Now, I can go ahead to do my splitting. Now, remember, how we are doing the mapping, it's usually one-to-one. -one. So if I go to the first one, for example, binders, which is the first one, has the value of 609.98. Then art, which is the second one here, has the second value here of 5.48. So when I'm done splitting, I need to be able to combine the two tables back together and I need to ensure that the mapping of the amounts and everything actually rhymes. So what I'll do is let's start with the first one, the normal 35. If I go to the category here, I am going to right click. I will split column by delimiter and my delimiter has to be that pipe. I have to go to advanced options and split into rows. So when I click OK here, that is going to split all that into different rows like this. Binders is the first one, art is the second one. So I will go to the second query to do the same thing. So click on the amount column, right click, split column by delimiter and 
my delimiter is going to be a custom one and i will go to the box and paste that pipe i had copied before go to advanced options split into rows click ok so remember 609.98 the first one is for binders 5.48 the second one is for art so how exactly do we ensure that when we merge these two queries together we can combine them one for one and two for two and three for three we will have to go to add column and select index add index column from one then i will go to the second version add column index column from one so i'll be using this index columns on both sides to match apple for apple orange for orange i can use any of these two queries to complete it because i'm already on the second one right now i will simply go to my home tab here i'm going to select merge queries and i will merge queries maybe as a new query now so that i can have my output in a separate query entirely so i'm going to merge queries as new so i am merging 35 second copy the one that has the amount i want to merge that with 35 first copy the one that has a category and i need to use the index column i created as my matching column so i can have one for one two for two so click index here click index on the second one i'm going to click ok here and then I have been able to merge the other table to this one i just need to expand it and bring in just the category alone i need to uncheck use original column name as prefix i'm going to click ok here and i no longer require this index column so i can right click on that and remove and if i want to rearrange this i can just drag this category and bring it back here and also you are going to see that there are some leading spaces here which i could have taken care of when i was selecting the pipe as my delimiter but in case you have some extra and leading spaces in any of your data columns or any of your text columns that you want to remove you can go to the transform tab and go to format you are going to see an option here to trim basically to trim extra and leading spaces if i click on trim all those extra spaces are going to be removed.